Welcome back everybody. So in this video I'm going to show you uh, my weed killing process, spraying uh, all my food plots. So with this food plot uh, we have uh, standing corn, 24 rows on this side, and then the rest of it's all uh, soybean. And it's all Roundup ready, so we can just go right through this and spray everything. So I'll show you that on this video, but I wanted to show you uh, how everything's going here. We have a bunch of weeds coming up, which uh, I'm going to terminate in this video. None of these will be alive in a few days. But the corn's coming up really, really nice over here. You can see, there it is, coming up really good. You can see all the rows. And then you can see where the beans got drilled in. They're coming up really nice right where they had got drilled. Right through there, you can see the lines of them pretty easily but what I wanted to show you is where we or where I broadcasted them they're not doing good at all that's where they got drilled and then right over here is where they got broadcast <coughs> broadcasted and you can see we didn't get nearly the germination that we got where they got drilled they're coming up kind of periodically but for the most part it was kind of a failure so from now on I'm definitely gonna drill them I'm not gonna broadcast beans anymore I just wasn't able to get them deep enough over here where the soil was a little more wet uh, the beans came came up a lot better but uh, for the most part They didn't do very good you can see there's a lot of deer tracks out here already. I just set up a few trail cameras To uh, monitor these there's one right there to see what kind of deer uh, pressure we're getting out here But we'll see Every time I come out here, it's a learning ex uh, experience so The best part is if this is a total failure on the beans on this side where they didn't get drilled, I can come through here at the end of July and plant it to brassica and just like that we got a great uh, food plot with lots of tonnage for the deer this winter. So we'll see. Uh, I'll finish out this video with uh, spraying the plots and uh, if you have any questions about how I'm doing anything just put them in the comments below and uh, I'll answer them for you. Thanks for watching everybody. Welcome back everybody. It is officially spray day here on the Bailey farm. We're gonna go spray all the food plots, the trails, spray everything. Get that uh, first kill on uh, all the weeds and stuff coming up. But I'll show you what we're gonna use and how we're gonna do it. So we got this North Star uh, sprayer here that I got a few years ago. Works absolutely awesome. I just hook it right up to this battery. And I fill that up with water, and uh, I'll show you what we use for uh, glyphosate. I put three of these large Tim Hortons cups of this into that sprayer, and it works uh, perfect every time. Uh, this is just like an off-brand of Roundup. It's the same active ingredient, which is glyphosate, which is pretty much kills everything. So we're going to... Get it set up in the back of the Honda, fill it up with water, and get to work.
wanted to show you guys how my uh, oak trees are doing that I planted uh, a little over a month ago. And there's buds coming up on them and they're starting to look pretty good. I don't know if you can see it in there, but they're definitely alive. They're not dead like I thought they might have been. So I got the glyphosate and I'm going to hammer everything around these trees so there's not really any competition for them here. So that's what we'll do. We're just gonna walk right down uh, Cherry Ridge here and hit all these trees that I had planted. There's it over here. Remember, this one I planted, it was really crappy looking dirt, so I'll be interested to see how this one's actually doing if it's... Oh wow, that one's leafed out. Let's see if you can see it. You can see the leaves in there. So that one's doing good. We'll spray everything around the base of it here. Don't want any competition.